What's up everybody? Welcome to a new series, new game. It just came out worldwide January 11th. That means if you are new to the game and coming straight into this game, you will get a lot of prizes because they want to celebrate that a lot of people have downloaded this game already. This game is Star Wars Force Arena, which is you can fight in arena one versus one. It reminds a lot of uh, Dota and LOL because you need to beat the turrets and you, you spawn your heroes. We will show that in a second. But this is the main screen you get, your battle screen, where you can see one versus one, two versus two. You can team up. I haven't tried that. I haven't tried two versus two yet. The training, it's if you want to try out your new heroes. In the bottom, you see I got Luke Skywalker with a legendary hero. I got four legendary heroes from the beginning when I started this game. So it's kind of amazing what they give. So we got Luke Skywalker. We got Princess Elia. We got Director Orson Krennic. And we got this mean, the Grand Inquisitor. Every of this, this is the dark side on the right side. On the left side, we have the light side. So what else is on this screen? You can go up, of course, and buy gold. You can buy gems. You can see I got 1,367 gems. We did get 10,000 uh, gold just to start this game up. We have some achievements. We can go inside and look. I retire too. I'm carbonite right now. Let's see in the special. There's nothing to open. But every time you finish a mission, you will get more uh, rewards. We can go to the reward stat on the left because I know I have some packs to open. So let's open the first one. It's a Force Arena Tier 1 because I was in Tier 1. You're getting to different kind of arenas every time you fight. More points, you get more arena, higher arena, of course. So we got some gold. We got some cards. We got more cards. And we got even a rare Rocket Storm Trooper. The way it works, I will show in a second when we go inside uh, the team building it's exactly like clash royale where you have like eight cards you can choose here you got a leader and you have some cards which will with the energy go and you can play them so let's try this out just to show you guys i'm gonna definitely make some more maybe some live screening because this game you can play it all the time you can just go and fight and fight and fight just like clash royale guys so it's pretty amazing. So let's open some of the packs, see what we're gonna get. We got the rare, a heavy one. So now we got the third spot, which is the deck. If you look, we have the legendary heroes in top. On the bottom, you got the, the leader, which is Luke Skywalker. If you go inside him, you can see he got 1302 in health, attack, movement, and all this stuff in details. They say a little about on him and what is his speciality is after consecutive attacks strikes an enemy directly ahead and reflect enemy blaster fire when standing still. So they got some special abilities as well the legendary dudes. If we go on the cards you can see we can do the same and they are of course upgradable. upgradable. This is an epic card. I think this is a rare card. I can upgrade that. So it's going to be even stronger. But right now I'm concentrating about my Dark Forces. Since the Dark Forces are much stronger right now. I got them up level up in level 3, level 2, level 4. But let's level these up. But I don't have... Oh yeah, I have a little bit gold. Let's take this. We just make our Devarian Bladesman. So this is like the team building. If there are more cards I could use. Let me see. There is not, but I know in the light forces, we do have opportunity for that. Let's edit. And you can see, you can just choose to take like this dude, the Brazilian sniper. You just drag him who you want to change out. So if we're going to change out, let's say this dude here. Now you see the average energy cost is 3.4. So I made it a little bit smaller. But this is definitely my favorite team. I like the Dark Forces. We're gonna upgrade. This is like the fighter that coming like flights and just bump like a plane. This is gonna be sick. Just wait till we gonna open this up. And this is like the first three tabs, guys. 
there is a shop where you can buy cards it's exactly it reminds me so much about clash royale like you have the common the rare the the epic and the legendary cards you cannot buy legendary cards but you can buy card packs you can buy crystals you can buy credits and of course you can buy these kind of cards i don't have any money right now i spent it all so i cannot even show you but i did upgrade a lot of my stuff also there is a possibility called trade trade is if you have like 10 common cards you can trade it to a rare if you got 10 rares you can trade it to an epic if you got 10 epic you can of course take it to unique and from unique you can get a legendary i can the only thing i can change is my legendaries but i don't the game is so new that i don't see any meaning of me changing the legendaries already before i try them all out it also costs a thousand to trade a legendary guild i created a guild it called miu dk youtube i wanted to make two accounts but i made one account and somehow it attached to my game sender my my noob game sender but i tried with my main game sender and it still collaborate to the same so I'm just going to play one account, not playing more accounts. So I'm not going to have 10 different accounts. If you guys want to join my guild, please be free. Me or DK YouTube, then we can do some two versus two matches. Or, or just talk with each other and strategize and see what is good. Let's see what is this. Do I have any prizes I can get? Nope. Yes, I have. I can get 75. Open one free pack. Let's collect the reward. We got 75 credits. So now we got 88 gold. Let's go and do one fight, guys. This is so amazing. Let's go one versus one. What has happened now, it will look up a, a person. I'm already a little bit, how to say, I'm, I think I'm in, no, I'm only in the tier one. I went to tier two, so I must have been, uh, I have lost some games. Because I'm pretty new to this kind of games. But, but I like it so much. You got two turrets. You got his base on the right, on the left, we are fighting. You can see the map in the top and where the enemy is. So you you running by pressing on the, uh, how to say it? If you double click, he will run. So we're gonna attack and we're gonna spawn some of these heroes and attack this dude, guys. So it's something like LOL, something like Dota. Oh, we're still getting attacked. Let's take him out. Let's get some reinforcements we're gonna put these out and it's all about running around and of course making some good strategies so we can attack from both spaces this person a little bit new let's oh my god i'm gonna lose when you die you will have eight seconds before you respawn and now i see i'm gonna be attacked on the right side and the left side so let's go and attack this hero guys so he don't kill my turrets and you got the special ability again every 30 seconds let's go oh my god i see we have trouble over here on the right side but we did survive let's get some help let's get this turret out right away so we got one point every time we hit we get a point there is one minute 42 seconds to beat the total let's get some more of these units out so we can get some help Let's destroy this hero. I need definitely some health. You can go and get some health over here. We need to run away again. Attack. Get some a tank out. This is sick. And I just lost. But we're going to get the turret. Shouldn't be a problem to win this match. Or did I lose? No, I didn't lose. Let's go, guys. I only have one minute unless it will be points. Let's attack this. Let's make some special power and get them all out. Let's get the same. This is going to be the airplane with cost four. And here you go. It just attack. It's so violent, this game. But this seems like a fun game, guys. A lot of new stuff. It's like a collaboration of the best games in one game. I think this game will get a lot of success because there's already a lot of people game it, playing it, 
and it's Star Wars that means the franchise is so big so there are gonna be a lot of game the players a lot of gameplay of this game so this look like a, a very good game to start up on YouTube and show you guys what to do so now we are taking the end when we finish this off we should be able to of course there we go we won and we can say good game make some smileys may the force be with you and we are done every time you win we get a victory we get one play points and every time you get 10 you get a bronx pack tier one opening so okay we got 11 credits we won four to one So let's see what's happening. We are in division up. We're gonna go to division one or two. We should, okay. We are one division up, not bad. We are level four. And guys, this was Star Wars Force Arena, which is the newest game. And I think a lot of games gonna go this way. It's more gameplay. It look fun. The graphics are amazing. I can't wait to team up to do two versus two, two versus two. I don't know how it works. But I guess we need to be in a guild before using this. Or I will just join up on another one. So we're going to play two versus two. Guys, I hope you like this. And uh, remember, if you want to see more of Star Wars Force Arena, because I'm starting this up, or Heroes of Dragon Age, please subscribe. Please put a like. Please comment below if you also started this game. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon.